Hello, Goo Crew. Welcome back. As you probably can see, I'm once again here at Disney Springs because there's going to be a lot of festive, fun things going on here. As you guys know, a lot of things are happening here at Disney World. It is halfway to Halloween, so a couple places are having a lot of exclusive Halloween food options. So we're going to go see if we can get any of those. Also, after we get all our festivities done, um, I am going to a D23 exclusive screening of the original 1992, I think it is, Hercules movie. The Disney movie, so we're gonna go check that out, see how that process is, see what that event involves. But overall, we're just gonna see what new is happening here, see what's going on, and um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. As you can see, Disney Springs is bustling with many people here, excited. There's lots of people here. It is a Saturday morning, so we're just gonna go around and see what's going on. I did get on the Gideon's virtual queue, it was four hours. However, they did have a special Halloween, halfway to Halloween menu. So a little kind of souvenir to have here, but um, yeah, apparently they have a couple cakes. Um, by the time we actually get there, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to try anything. But either way, we do have the menu, so that should be pretty fun. I do think the ganachery actually has something as well, so I think we're gonna head over there. I believe it's like another Hocus Pocus themed thing, so um, it's probably sold out, but we'll go check it out. It's always a pleasure to see Mr. Raglan Road here. Um, as usual, he seems kind of disappointed. Maybe he's missing out on some of the halfway to Halloween treats as well. I'm sorry, Mr. Raglan Road. Hopefully, you will get your cake. But yeah, just a little bit for reference, if you do want to go to Gideon's, a lot of times you do have to enter the virtual queue. You just pretty much come here, there's a customer over there with an iPad, um, they check you in, they send you a text message whenever it's time, and then you get over there and go in that line. So pretty simple, once you are called, you just go in the line, you get in. Um, it's very short once you get to that point, but um, yeah. I feel like Matt was kind of lucky because he got the nice cool day. It's a very hot day, it's kind of the opposite of Halloween, opposite of fall right now. Anyways, we're gonna go on. I think this is a hot chocolate over Ganachery, so it's gonna be kind of a hot day to do this, but um, either way, we'll, we'll try and get it. And I also did steal Matt's hat because I wanted to be kind of festive, bring some Halloween cheer to you. So hopefully I kind of compete with him as far as my halfway to Halloween festiveness. But yeah, we made it to Ganachery here. Um, I don't really see any signs or anything, but we'll go in here, we'll see what's going on. Oh, I like these, these handles. It's kind of fun. Oh, this is great. So I actually still have the s'mores here, which is, I never really tried, but I think we're gonna try and get the festive thing here. But um, you see they have Hocus Pocus up there. They have some different festive things. And I guess this is it. It's a um, Sisters Elixir Cauldron Cocoa Pop. Cocoa Bomb. So, yeah, we'll kind of, kind of try and see how this is. This is $14, so it's a little pricier, but um, it seems like if we can't get in the Gideons, it's probably gonna be your best option here. The directions right here on the oh, back. Great. You uh, melt it and uh, heat up a cup of milk. Okay, great. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, so I got it. So I, I'm, I'm honestly kind of worried now because it does say, I, I guess I thought that it's like a hot cocoa bomb. Like you put it in your hot chocolate and it makes hot chocolate and I just kind of assumed they had something there, but they just give you the bomb. So hopefully it doesn't melt. Maybe we'll try and go on a search looking for some um, hot milk or something from Joffrey's or something, but yeah. So if you want to do this, apparently you have to place the chocolate cauldron, it's like a cauldron, you place it in inside of a mug and then you heat milk in like a pan and then pour it into your mug. Um, and there's like a little broom pop that you use to like stir it. So I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to do this here. Maybe I'll kind of bring this home, kind of show you guys how to do it at home, but Hopefully it doesn't melt. All right, so I'm here at Starbucks. I think I found a solution. I got some steamed milk here and just empty cup. So we're gonna kind of do some experimenting. Hopefully this giant bomb thing works. If not, I can advise you guys um, with that. So we'll try this out. We'll try and get this going. Nice, the one day I forget the wipes. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. We'll see how it works. Yeah, there you go. You have the, the sisters on there and it's like a giant cauldron. We're gonna pick it up, we're gonna put it in here. It's kind of fun looking, look, that's kind of cool. I think that was the same like paper thing they had on the one at Grand Floridian, but that's cool, so we're gonna put it in here. Uh oh, this is probably not gonna work, but um, we'll try it out. All right, let's see, hopefully this works. Oh, it's bubbling, look at that.
Wow. All right. So then we get this little, I guess, like broom thing here. And we're going to stir it around. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay. Can't tell if this is working or not. Oh, it's like green in there. That's, that's great. So we're going to mix this up. Hopefully it works. I'm very hopeful for this. Oh, those are marshmallows. Oh, that's fun. So yeah, yeah. So these are these are green marshmallows, kind of going with the theming. Um, I believe this was the thing they had last year for Halloween. If not, um, that's fun. But um, it looks like it's fully dissolved, at least from what I can tell. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be too chalky though. The, the broom is dissolving as well. I think this might have worked. The good thing is I have some more um, milk here, so if it's too chalky, I can always kind of fix it up. But. I'm gonna get a little taste. The broom was good. Nice chocolate. I may have just, um, I don't know what I did here, but we're gonna try it out. That's actually pretty decent. Um, I, I was actually kind of surprised. Um, yeah, it worked. The marshmallows are great. The, the color is fun. It just tastes like a nice hot chocolate. I like how the chocolate, it tastes like, um, real chocolate. It doesn't taste like, like an artificial hot chocolate, which I think is great. Um, yeah, the theming, everything's fun here. This was a little expensive. I believe it was $14. Um, but it was like, it's like an archery. They have like fresh chocolate. So yeah, I mean, this is fun. I don't know if it'd be, it, it might be debatable if it's worth $14, but um, yeah, good chocolate. I like it. And here, I'm going to give a couple more sips before I do rating. The thing is with hot chocolate for me, um, I think it's kind of hard because hot chocolate can be very, um, it can get like too rich. I don't think this ever gets too rich. It's just nice hot chocolate. Um, it honestly tastes like biting into a candy bar, which is kind of fun. But um, yeah, I mean, for a hot day like this, I probably wouldn't want it, but um, especially when fall comes around, it starts to cool off a little bit. This is this is great. So as far as the rating, I'm gonna give it a 3.7 out of five. Um, I think this is really fun. The price could be debatable. I think the flavor and everything here is pretty great. So. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I think from here, we're gonna just go on and see what else we run into. Um, a lot of things are happening here. I honestly thought this would be sold out by the time we got to it. So yeah, pretty good. I think we're just gonna go around and see what's going on and go from there. One of the other things I did see going on here for halfway to Halloween, apparently they have the Mickey Mummy popcorn bucket back, uh, which is kind of weird for me because I feel like um, Disney had those. So if you want a little history, last year during Halloween, they had them and then they sold out. They were just gone, no one ever saw them. Um, and later in the Disney Character Warehouse outlet, they just got like a whole bunch of them. So I'm assuming they just had an um, issue with supply issues, which I kind of imagine, but um, it just seems like they still have too many and this is kind of a boost to get rid of it here. But yeah, I guess we're just gonna kind of look out for that. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'll buy it, but um, we'll see how much it is. And I also will say when I'm drinking more of this hot chocolate here, um, I think it will depend like how chocolatey it is compared to how much milk you put in there. So if you don't like a lot of chocolate in yours, you can put more milk in your cup. And yeah, I think that's kind of nice. That's kind of a good customizable way to do it because as I drink more, I'm getting more like really concentrated chocolate areas. I think, I wish there was a better way to mix it. I didn't have like a spoon with me. So yeah, just keep that in mind. That's a fun thing. I, I had a lot of fun doing it. So kind of an experience as well. All right, it looks like we have found our popcorn bucket here. Um, yeah, there you go, you have Mickey Mouse. He actually holds a pumpkin. He's dressed as a mummy. Um, that's kind of fun. And you have little Mickey pumpkins on the little lanyard here. Um, I'm gonna see how much this is. But it is $20.25. Um, yeah, there's the official halfway to Halloween logo. It is here and it does come with popcorn. So I'm not really sure exactly how much it was at the outlet store, but um, I don't know, for now I think I'm gonna pass. If I remember correctly, I believe the buckets are $15 over at the Character Warehouse. I'm not sure if they still have them there now. I mean, I guess if you want it, it's $20 and you get the popcorn. So I guess $5 more and you get the popcorn. You actually don't have to go all the way to the Character Warehouse. Yeah, it's a cool popcorn bucket. I'll think about it. But as of now, I think I'm gonna pass. I don't think I'm gonna fall for their trick here. But yeah, at this point, I think we are gonna kind of head towards the world of Disney, see if there's any new merchandise going on over here. Uh, we're just gonna walk by everything. If there's anything new, I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, it's a very busy day here at Disney Springs for sure. But yeah, we have made it here. We're gonna go in here. 
I'm not sure if there's gonna be new 50th things, but we'll kind of check it out. I do think one of the more newer things, this is probably the newest thing we've seen. We've been seeing a lot of restocks, but overall, you have this baseball, it's in like a 10, it's 50th baseball. This is $14.99. Oh, looks like they got the train back. So I think this was, so this is one of like the main, one of those trains, let's see. I think this is a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, this is $499, but it's like one of the name brand trains, the Lionel trains here, um, which is kind of fun. This is new, however. I think this is kind of a train car and wagon. I guess you can like add on to your train, which I think is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. It has like all the parks on it. I guess it like rotates. Um, you can control this train from your phone as well. If you want to add this on, it's $150. So these are like name brand. Um, that's kind of cool. I feel like at this point they're doing this to get me mad. Um, if you guys know, Disney is releasing a lot of the wishables online and um, a lot of them haven't come to the parks until now. The last one before the Muppets one was the Ratatouille one. If you guys know me, I'm a big Ratatouille fan and they have not come in stock and they kind of skipped it here in the parks as well. I heard Disneyland got it, but they don't have it. All they have here are the Muppets. Um, you have the mystery packs as well. These are kind of fun, but um, yeah, I believe these are yeah, about $10. But yeah, hopefully we get the Ratatouille ones. I, I feel like this is kind of them playing with me, but there you go. This is kind of cool. I think they had something, I don't know if they've, it seems like I saw this around. Um, it's a 50th Rubik's Cube. It's like name brand. It's actually Rubik's Cube brand. So that's kind of cool. You have Mickey there. You have all like the characters, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so you have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Chip and Dale, Pluto, Goofy. $20, that's kind of fun. And of course, they do have the new backpacks in. These were here kind of at the beginning and then they sold out, but these actually have a cooler in here. So if you unzip this, um, there's actually a cooler. So you can like put food or something you can cool it in there, which is kind of fun. But um, this backpack's 54, um, it's a little pricier, but it is a decent backpack. I actually have one and it's actually more sturdier than it looks. I don't know, hopefully it lasts. I feel like a lot of these backpacks just kind of break easily. So uh, we'll see, here's another puzzle that Matt will let me get. Um, probably one that I'd never do, but this is kind of cool. You have like all the beacons of magic. This one was sold out, I believe, for a while as well. Um, $34.99, you're getting four puzzles here, and each one is 500 pieces each, so that's kind of fun. But you do have the snow globe as well. I know these were kind of one of the things that sold out as well. I like we're getting more things in, but um, yeah, it, it doesn't really feel like it felt the week of the 50th when things just kept coming in. Or like that time period where like things would come every five seconds. Um, hopefully we kind of get some more new merchandise, but it seems like right now we're just getting a lot of like restocks of things. So there you go. And they do have this new collection for the 50th. If you do want some new 50th uh, merchandise. I like this hat. I just wish it had something 50th on it. The back is just plain. Um, and then you have the spirit jersey, which I feel gets kind of, it's kind of hot now. So I think there's kind of a decrease in spirit jerseys. You have the ears as well. Um, the one issue I have with this is like, I, I like the design, but I feel like Disneyland got the same design, but instead of the 50th, they just got Mickey. So I, I just wish they had more like exclusive designs. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of fun. That's something Disneyland doesn't have, but there you go. Yeah, that was fun. Um, there are some things coming in, which is great. Uh, it's weird. Merchandise comes in like phases. You get some new things every so often, um, but it's always fun to see new things. So. Yeah, there you go. I think from this point though, I think we are gonna head over towards AMC to kind of go for our movie. Um, I'll kind of keep you guys updated. They are kind of strict on what you can and cannot film inside of the theater. So we're probably just gonna kind of put you guys away. Uh, but I'll kind of keep you guys updated afterwards, like how the process was, how much it was. But yeah, I guess we'll head over to AMC, see what's going on and go from there. All right, so we made it back here to the bustling west side and it is truly bustling indeed. People are coming from all directions. There's entertainment around every corner. Um, this is exciting. But I think before we do check in for our movie, I think we're gonna go over here. I don't know what's going on on the screen over here, but we're gonna go see what's going on. But over here, it makes me cry every time I come over here. But um, this is where Disney Quest used to be. And then they put the NBA experience and the NBA experience closed. But you do have like this on the screen up there. I'm not sure if this is intentional. Um, but it's up there, that's kind of interesting. But um, this is really cool. So this isn't happening now, I don't think, is it? Yeah, this isn't happening now, but Basically what they're gonna be doing, NBA Experience has closed, and they're doing like a complimentary VR experience coming here. Everything's ready, all the entrances are there. I, I guess this is a game that you can like get on like a VR headset um, game you can buy. 
um, for Galaxy's Edge, and you can come here and kind of play a preview. It is complimentary, so whenever it does open, we will be here kind of test it out. That looks kind of fun. Um, I, I wish what they did was they did what they did over at the Void over by Bippity Bopty Boutique. Uh, they had like a full Star Wars VR experience and like there were smells, there was everything, you could touch things and it felt like the thing you were touching in the VR headset. But yeah, this is kind of a preview, I think. The way I understand it, it's like a preview for a game you can't purchase. So, I don't know, this should be pretty fun though. I, I just wish that they would just bring back Disney Quest. It's not going to happen, but... There you go. Oh, and I just looked it up. Apparently this is gonna be ready May 2nd, which is actually in like two days. So um, we're gonna have to be back for this. This looks really fun, but um, yeah, there you go. Everything's ready. All the entrance signs are here. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see like how they, like if they just leave the NBA experience stuff up or if it's just like a like a spirit Halloween or like something something like um, like like a pop-up thing. But I guess we'll see. We'll kind of see how it is. and. That should be pretty fun. But yeah, we are here at AMC. I think we're gonna go in, see how the experience is. Um, yeah, it should be pretty fun, I'm excited. I will say this is for the 25th anniversary of Hercules, uh, which I don't really think I've, I, I think I one time watched the movie, but I really haven't seen this one uh, very much. So I think we're gonna go in there, kind of watch it. Um, it. Should be fun, I think there's actually a gift they give you too. So yeah, I'll kind of let you guys know how it is. It should be fun and um, we'll see you guys after the movie. All right, so I just got out. Um, that was fun. So, I mean, it was just showing the movie. It really wasn't anything more than that. Um, you got a little gift. This was fun. It's like a little patch. And it says um, 25th anniversary. as has like the, the Roman numerals there, which is kind of fun. So you got a little gift. It was a fun movie. Um, I, I think the biggest thing was like with the audience. I was, I was honestly expecting... I mean, you could honestly get tickets um, for this event like five minutes before the movie was starting. There were still seats available. And coming there was like first come, first serve seating. Um, it was it was honestly pretty packed. Um, I was surprised how many people were there. I, I think the biggest thing here is that you have a whole theater and you can kind of just enjoy the movie with everyone, which I think is really fun. Um, it was a little pricier, so it was $15 plus a $3 processing fee. If you are a gold member, uh, which we, we actually are, Matt and I, uh, but if you do want to do if you do want to come to this event, you're not a gold member. It is $25 plus a $3 processing fee. So, I mean, generally either way, you're going to be spending about $18 to $27. Um, which honestly, I think the biggest thing about this was just enjoying the experience. The gift was really fun. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it being a patch. Uh, I know they've done different gifts in the previous years. And I know they are doing events like this, like whenever anniversaries do come. Um, they do have plenty of events like this, but... Yeah, I thought it was fun. I don't know if it was worth the price. Um, I don't know if I'd come to this unless I'm a really big fan of the movie. But um, yeah, if, if you want to see this movie again with a pretty full audience and you just want to enjoy it with your, your fellow movie watchers, I think it could be a fun event. So yeah, there you go. But during the movie, um, our Gideon's virtual queue was called. So I think we're gonna head over there. I don't think they'll have any of the Halloween things left, but um, yeah, we'll go check, we'll go check it out. and. Um, yeah, either way, I like their cookies, so we're gonna head there. But yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of line. We're gonna get in here, hopefully have something left, and um, yeah. All right, so we're here in line. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Yeah, are there any questions I can answer? Um, do you know if any of the Halloween things are still left? Um, we don't have any more of the Halloween okay. things for today. Sounds good. We do still have both of the coconut items, so the coconut cake and the coconut cookie. Great, sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much, thank you. So we got in here. They don't have any of the Halloween things left, but um, we might try a cookie here. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I please have one of the coconut cookies? Sure. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay, that's going to be 6 Sounds good. Great. Here you are and you Sounds good. Set. Thank you so much. All right, that was fun. So basically, if you guys didn't hear, um, all the Halloween things are gone, except uh, a trading card they were giving out. So this is fun. Apparently, if you go in there during the halfway to Halloween season, you get a little trading card of this, um, the halfway to Halloween ambassador right here. They're very festive with halfway to Halloween cheer. Um, that's great to see, but, um, yeah, I, apparently Gideon's is starting to do trading cards. If you buy like, um, three cookies or more, you get a trading card. And, um, this one's exclusive. It's extremely rare promo card, um, which is great. So that's kind of fun. I think they are selling even like binders to keep your trading cards in. So, yeah, that's fun. I like this. Tomorrow's the last day of their April cookie, so I, I figured 
might as well get something. So I'm gonna try the April cookie while I can and um, hopefully it's good. But yeah, this cookie apparently is a toasted coconut caramel chocolate chip, but apparently this is a toasted coconut caramel chocolate chip cookie. Um, it's special only for the month of April. So um, yeah, hopefully it's good. I will say Matt does not like coconut, so good thing he's not here. So we're gonna try this out. Wow, so this looks sticky already. The one day I forget the wipes. Oh no, okay, ah, things are blowing away. Okay, let me try this out. That's honestly pretty good. Um, the coconut I was a little afraid of. I'm not a huge fan of texture of coconut. Um, but I felt like it was it was pretty decent. The coconut wasn't overpowering anything. Um, I don't really getting, I'm not really getting the caramel here. It's pretty much just a chocolate chip cookie with coconut. And I don't know if there's more coconut in like the dough here, but um, you're getting coconut in pretty much every bite, which is great. But yeah, honestly, this is a pretty good coconut cookie. As far as a rating, I'm gonna give this a um, 3.65 out of five. Um, fairly decent, just very sticky. So I'm gonna go wash my hands. We're gonna go from there and um, yeah, should be good. All right, so that was fun. So um, I, I know some things didn't go as far as planned. We didn't get to try any of the Gideon's Halloween things, but we did get a little trading card. We got to try um, the hot chocolate bomb thing. Uh, we got to wear a hat and we also got to look at a popcorn bucket. So I, I think we accomplished our goal here. Um, I think it was pretty fun to kind of show you guys all the offerings here. Um, I believe this was the last day. If not, it is going to tomorrow. But um, yeah, I think this is fun. I, I know partially it can be seen as just a way to get rid of popcorn buckets. But overall, I had fun. It was fun to go see what's going on. It was fun to go see a movie as well. I haven't been to a movie in a long time. So yeah, pretty fun experience. But yeah, I think it was a fun video. I'm glad we got to bring you guys along. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys do hit the like button. Every single like really pushes our video into YouTube a lot, kind of recommends it more, a huge help to us. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe as well. Every subscription is a huge help as well. And yeah, we'd love to have you guys as members of the Goo Crew, as I like to say. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if you guys would comment, um, sometimes going to Disney Springs, it gets kind of weird because um, I don't really shop at a lot of stores here. And I know you guys do want to see some things in certain stores. So if you guys want to comment, comment down. Let me know uh, what stores you guys would like to see in future streams and videos here at Disney Springs. And um, yeah, we really want to make these videos and live streams as um, enjoyable as possible. So if there's anything you guys would like to see or any restaurants, anything you guys would like to see here, please let me know. But yeah, as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Bagel. And you're you. And we both wish a goo to each and every one of you. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you guys later. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.